Hello and welcome back to Saber Outdoors. My name, of course, is Mark Alexander, your wonderful host. And today, today we are testing a survival shovel. Guys, this is the Chin Lin Spade. Guys, you see a lot of these little Japanese, Asian, I'm not sure where it's from, but you see a lot of the these off-brand survival shovels. So I got one. So let's let's drag it out and see what we can find. So we have three sections to this thing. We've got a handle, the shovel, and an extension. So what do we got in this extension here? Okay, we got a uh, we've got a whistle. This is your warning, people with headphones or earbuds. This is your warning. <whistles> Works pretty good. So if you need it to signal for rescue, very good good working whistle i've got a ferro rod on this so we'll test that out and will this thread yes it will thread look i've got big threads on the outside for the thing but i've got little threads on the inside so that i can i've got this giant handle for this little bitty um ferro rod we'll test that out in a minute I wonder if I can put these together, like with the stuff actually already on it. Okay, so we've got our handle and there's something here. Let's unscrew it. What do we have here? A knife. Got us a knife. What's the edge like? Not super, but uh, we could probably cut something with this. So, uh, Let's put it on. And we got the little razor, or not the razor blade, um, uh, razor back saw on it. We'll test that out as well. So there's that, this huge handle on this relatively small knife. Can I put these to, oh yeah, baby. I'm just gonna stick these together because that'll not only cover my knife and keep me safe, but also, I got a reasonable billy club out of this thing. This, this would be something or other to bonk somebody on the head with. So let's look at our uh, main attraction, the reason this is a shovel and not a billy club. Okay, so we're going to throw our, sh our sheath on the gr ground. Sheath, case, what would you call that? Put that down in the, the comments. So it's like an e-tool, so it's got this adjustable thing. You can either set it like this right here, where you can use it almost like a hoe, or you can undo it more, and you can use it like a, uh, you can use it like a actual shovel, which actually this isn't that bad. Like if you were digging in something soft like sand, like if you were to take this with you, uh, metal detecting, and you just needed to get in there, this is serviceable. But let's let's put it all together. So we've got. Let's see. So we have. Oh, probably whole package is probably two feet long. Um, guys. Let's go uh, start testing some features. So first off, let's just see if we can dig with this. So uh, we're gonna come in a little bit into the woods and we'll back off the trail a little bit. Kind of like if you were gonna go use the restroom if you were like hiking or something. By the way, this whole package is like three to five pounds. Ooh, that was, <laughs> I am mildly impressed myself. But uh, guys, let's see how it does digging. Is it is it awkward to dig with? Is it good to dig with? I mean, it's not bad. The connections don't stay too good. But if you needed like a six inch cat hole, 
in order to use the restroom and go back to your camp or whatever. I mean, you can quickly get a decent sized hole with it. As you can see, in no, long, no longer than I've been here, you saw me dig this from, I mean, I'm almost six inches deep sitting down there and I can still dig with one hand and get a reasonable shovel full up. Because I can hold the shovel with one hand and you with the other one. And I can, there's just enough toe, or not toe, but like side to get my foot on to help myself. So the answer, will this dig? Yeah, it digs. Now, like any hole, always fill your hole back in. So that way critters or other campers, other people don't fall down into a hole that you were nice enough to leave them. Now, the next thing is this has a hole feature. So we're going to we're going to undo it a little bit and then screw it back up in there. So now we've got it like a hoe. Let's step a little further off in the woods. And let's try it out as a hoe. Now guys, we're not doing an extreme test. We're just testing if this is reasonable or if this is unreasonable. These connections aren't super tight, but let's let's see what we can do with her. So yeah, oh, look look. Our look our connections loose. But tighten her back up. And you can you can dig with this like a hole if you are reasonable with it let's shovel our hole back in stamp it down so yeah you can you can use this like a hole I wouldn't suggest it for a long time but you saw the connection got a little loose but I tightened it back up and kept on going but guys, let's move on to uh, to some other features. All right, guys. So this has a serrated side to it. So let's uh, let's get us a limb up here. We'll just get any old limb, and uh, let's see how that saw blade does. So let's start kind of on our small end here. But let's see how our saw blade does. So yeah, it cuts a little bit, but not very good. These saw bl blades are all not really all that tough. Guys, let's try her out just chopping with the other side. Well, it broke where I was sawing. Let's try her a little bit bigger. Well, I guess right here's where we're going to have to work with. Give me a second. I've got a Got to get my limbs right. Guys, let's see if I like this any better with not so much handle on it. It won't be quite as good a chopper, but if I park this handle out, will I like it any better? So let's set that down. I've got a lot more control with it like this. Now, I could do better, almost as good with a knife and a, a knife or a handsaw. Um, so guys, not a very good chopper. It will stick in the log though, which looks cool. But you can see, 
even as much chopping, I just kind of tickled that thing. So not a very good chopper. So let's try some of the littler features out. So can we get a fire with this ferro rod? Is there a surface on this good enough? Yes. Okay. Let's get some cotton balls and see what we can do with it. All right, guys, I got three cotton balls and we're gonna see if we can get a fire with those. So let's... Hey, fire! So guys, yes, you could get a fire with this fi ferro rod and the shovel. And three cotton balls doesn't last very long, but that would be long enough to get me in trouble. So we're going to put them out. Make sure that they're good and, good and out before we move forward. Alright, so we've seen a lot of things that the shovel can do. So we're going to put it down... And we're gonna see what we can do with the knife that's in here. All right, here's our knife. Let's see if our spine is good enough to get a spark off this. Yes, we can get a spark off of it. So this would be a good alternative if the shovel was some reason not around. But we're gonna put this down. And uh, guys, let's, let's try and make feather sticks with this. So, uh, what we're going to do, if you watch the knife skills video, you already know. What we're going to do is stab it down into our block, and we're going to take a stick, and we're going to violin that stick on this thing. Be right back with my stick. All right, we've got our, we've got our stick here. I'm going to support the knife with my other hand. Oh, that's nice. That makes beautiful, that makes a beautiful feather. So look at that, in no time flat, makes for beautiful feathers. Which, if we were in a survival situation, we could possibly, we could hit that, this right here with that ferro rod. I'm not going to today, but it is a possibility that we could do. So I'm going to have to give this an up. Guys, look at that beautiful feather stick we made in no time flat. And if we need to, we can tear all these off. And they'll just be good shavings that we can work with. And we could probably use this as a batoning implement as well. Like if we had this and got us a, we got us a whooping stick. So let's, let's baton this a little. It turns with us, but we can at least do it. And make notches, make points, make uh, all kinds of stuff. Now, it has loosened up after I whacked it a few times, but we can tighten it back up. And go back to it and in no time flat we could put it on one side and then the other and get us something we can work with whether that's for a trap or any number of other things but uh, guys I'm gonna bring you back up to eye level and uh, we'll give a final statement on this thing all right, guys, so we tested most of the features on this. We didn't test our rope cutter. We didn't test the bottle opener. Because, guys, if I need this to cut rope with, well, why have I not got a knife? Um, now, as a shovel, not a bad shovel. For If you want something 
that's packable, this is a good choice. Now, I will tell you, this is a heavy outfit. This is not for one of you people that's like wanting the ultralight backpack camp or something. Not your thing, because yes, you can get sparks off of this sometimes. Sometimes, but this is like a lot of other things that are, you know, universal. You know, it cuts, it slices, it makes fries, it cooks coffee. It's uh, it's only mediocre at best at all the non-shovel things that it's supposed to do. Um, the 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 piece that holds holds it from going back to being this did well. I will admit, it did good as I itch my nose. But if you're going to be swinging this like hatchet, this is not a hatchet. This is not, not even close to a hatchet. Will this eventually get through a piece of wood? Yes, it will. Um, these serrations are not sharp. They're not good. I don't like serrations on my knives, and I don't like them on my shovels either. So uh, we didn't test out the little wrench things because you're in the woods. You don't have a lot of stuff with wrenches. But, hey, they're there. If you want to use them, go for it. Um, but, uh, but, like, the ferro rod used to work. <laughs> I can't seem to get it to work today, right now, anyways. Um, but uh, the shovel is a good shovel. The ferro rod does work as a ferro rod. Now, why they decided to put the whistle on the back of this, because you could screw this down into here as well and have a really long handle for your whistle. Again, warning. But why? Why do you need that? Why do you need that to screw in here? It's just kind of an extra thing. Um, also, you have to store it like this. So if for some reason you tumble, your ferro rod and your whistle may go flying. And that means that you have no fire. You have no way of signaling for rescue. So I got to knock it for that. The knife was pleasantly surprising because when I wanted to make feather sticks, I, boom, stuck it into my piece of wood and I worked it just fine. Wasn't a problem. And you don't have to have a big chopping block like this one. You could use a tree. Instead of, ch chop, instead of stabbing it down, you would stab it into the tree and then you would just do that same motion over and over again to make your feathers. But... Uh, Every time we use this to baton, it was not a good deal because uh, batoning on this knife, one, the wood that you're batoning with is going to stick in these serrations in the back. And two, it will, it will get loose and turn on you eventually. But I do like that this does screw down into here here in a small package the sheath so the sheath has no rivets and is just sewed together i can already feel in the corners of the sheath and i actually can see a hole this sheath is not going to last if you use this a lot but if you're going to just have this as a something you throw in the back of the truck in case you need to dig yourself out or something that you have in your car in case you decide that you want to run out in the woods and you just have this. There are loops on the back if you want to put this on your belt or put this on a pack. I'm not doing that. This thing is heavy. But uh, that's all that really needs to be said about this thing. Guys, what did you think? Put it down in the description below. Um, thanks for watching. Do all the usual YouTube things. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit that bell notification. Gonna say it twice. Subscribe. It means so much to me. And it costs you nothing. 
thank you so very much for watching. We'll see you somewhere in the woods or on the water.